on the steering wheel you have controls on the left side and the right side on the left side these arrows here are going to control the screen up here um, you can go up and down through these tabs you can press ok to select certain screens you can go back here to your previous screen there so right now we're on the leaf it's just going to show your miles per gallon your miles per hour your distance to empty is small here in the in the side um, you can go to the right again this is your eco guidance so when you're driving slow it'll light up in this eco bracket as soon as it goes past that line that means that you're wasting gas and then it will show you your um, eco start cruise and stop as well it's an active screen so it changes as you're driving if i go to the right again this is what most people um, choose to have as their main screen it's your miles per hour and your distance to empty but you can leave it on any of the screens that you see here now i'm going to go down this is going to be for your lane departure, which you can turn on and off here. If you're going 32 miles per hour or faster, if the car can detect the right lane, the left lane, or both lanes, it'll light those lanes up white. It's also an active screen. If you get close to that lane that's white, it's going to beep and flash. Um, it'll light up that line, um, an orange or a blue, and it will flash it. If you're not on the screen, you're just going to hear a beep, and it's going to pull the wheel. Um, but if you are on the screen, it'll beep, pull the wheel, and show you which lane you're about to hit. If we go down here... This is your music. You can push the middle button to open up your music and change your um, sources here and then go through your presets. Now, so that I'm in this screen, I'm gonna push this back button to get to the previous screen and then I'm gonna go down again. This is just um, another active screen. While you're driving, it'll show you when you're charging the battery, when you're using the battery. And again, it also still has the miles per hour and distance to empty there. Down here is your settings. So this is your lane departure. That's also right here, you can turn on and off here. But if you want to open the settings, you're going to push and hold the OK button. So you have lane center. So if you have your cruise control on and you have lane departure on, you also have lane center. That's only for when you're on cruise control. So while you're driving in cruise control, it kind of tries to keep you in the center of the lane at the same time. Here's your steering assist. That's the pull on the wheel. It's a slight pull. It will... Um, it will deactivate that for the moment if you use your blinkers because the car knows you're trying to switch lanes. Otherwise, if you don't put your blinker on and you're trying to switch lanes, it's gonna fight you a little bit, but you can't override it. This is the alert that vibrates the steering wheel. You can turn that on and off and how high you want it. Sensitivity is right here. I do recommend a, a standard sensitivity like this um, just because it does beep a lot. Sway warning if you're swaying too much, swerving too much. Um, a little coffee cup will come up here and say maybe it's time for a rest. Sensitivity, I also recommend the standard as well. Now I'm going to go back again. This here is your pre-collision. You can push the OK button just to turn it off and on. Um, but to open the settings, you're going to push and hold. You can change the sensitivity here. I recommend the highest sensitivity just because it is pre-collision. and um, So if your foot's on the gas or not on the brake, the car in front of you is stopping. Your vehicle doesn't think you're going to stop in time. If all sensors are working perfectly, it's not too foggy, rainy, your sensors aren't dirty, um, it will alert you right here, it'll flash brake, 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 and it will beep, 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 beep really fast. Um, if you don't react to it, and again, all the sensors are working perfectly, um, it will apply brakes, so but we don't recommend trying that because, like I said, everything has to be working perfectly and the weather has to be perfect as well. So I'm going back again. Now I'm going to the next one. This is your BSM, so it lights up in the mirror when it's on, so when somebody's in your blind spot, it will light up for you. Um, on this one is parking assist. If you push and hold the middle button, you can change the sensitivity of the sound. Um, and that one's on as well. Again, to turn it off and on, you just push the OK button. RCTA is rear cross traffic alert. When that is on and you are in reverse, if your vehicle senses a car coming from the, um, like your rear cross traffic, it's going to beep. Um, it'll, it'll beep a few times and then just make sure that you look behind you, make sure that there's nobody coming before you proceed. This one here is your intelligence clearance sonar, so that's also for parking. And then this one is for your, your road sign assist, so it'll have little road signs up here. So um, a lot of them that are common that you would see would be um, the speed limits will be up here. And then if you're speeding, it'll put a red line around that speed limit. I'm going to go back here. These are just settings, change, language, units, drive information. So now I'm going to go down one more. This little triangle here is for messages like check engine light, oil change, um, maintenance required when your vehicle needs some attention. It'll also say low fuel if you are low on gas. And then we're back at the top.